I was born and raised in Bristol, Connecticut, and uh, the whole town is here tonight. <laughs> the people from Newington are robbing your homes. <laughs> I was born and raised in Bristol, Connecticut, and then I went off to Hollywood, I started writing for TV, and the night I won my first Emmy, I told my wife, take a picture, I want to send it to the hometown paper. And she did, and four days later, it appeared on the front page of the Bristol Press, it's me in a tux, holding an Emmy, over the caption, local man claims to win award. <laughs> And, uh, anyway, so this was such a fun evening. I hope you had fun tonight. I, uh, I gotta say, they did such a great production here, Jackie Hubbard and the, and the rest of the Playhouse, that I was actually sitting in the audience going, wow, I wish I wrote that. <laughs> I gotta steal that joke. And, uh, and I think most of that is due to our amazing cast. Our, our cast, Mickey Dolan's Joyce the Wit, I have to say this because they never say it. They're doing something no smart actor would ever do. <laughs> They're playing older than they are. They, you're supposed to lie about your age. You're not supposed to add 20 years to your age. They're, they're much younger than they're playing. And I'm, I'm going, why are they doing it? I mean, what you saw tonight was a double act of career suicide. And <laughs> I said, why are they doing it? Maybe they love the play. Maybe they are just devoted to the theater. Or maybe they figured, it's Ivory Tim. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, people have been saying to me, Mike, how could you write a play about old people? You're not old. You're late middle-aged. And, uh, <laughs> and the fact is, my whole career, I've been writing about old people. My, uh, first, my first TV script when I was 22 years old was The Golden Girls. My first movie script was an action-adventure comedy for Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. And I worked so long on that. I worshipped these guys. I polished every line. I worked so hard on every scene that they both dropped dead before I finished the script. <laughs> but people go, well, why a play? I mean, isn't this play, isn't it just a ripoff of the, of the Sunshine Boys? No. It's a ripoff of Ungolden Pond. <laughs> Driving Miss Piggy in the gin game. There, there are so many great plays that are really just two old people talking. And I think this is because you never know what old people are going to say. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Uh, when I was a kid, I read a riddle. As a little boy, I read a riddle that went, what's worse than finding a worm in an apple? Finding half a worm in an apple. <laughs> it means you ate <laughs> finding a worm in an apple, and she said, having someone put an umbrella up your tushy, <laughs> and then opening it. <laughs> now that's a better answer. <laughs> and she came up with it so fast, <laughs> I had to think it, it must have happened to her. Uh, anyway, those are all my jokes, so thank you for coming to this play. I